Here's the easiest sub-5 guide for this week's Shadow Touch Drask trial. Here's the build I used in this run. Okay, let's go. First, reduce your stamina before you enter the arena. To take effect the adrenaline cell, which grants more damage when stamina is missing. Anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified of my new content. I will post new content at least once a week. Upon entering the arena, throw an ice lance to prevent you from being staggered so you can keep on attacking. Don't worry, you have shields from Scarn Lantern. Focus on the front legs and head at all times for stagger and eventually a part break. Dodge or parry those front leg swipe attack. Parry or dodge the run over attack. Oh, they are bringing back again the modifier Umbral Instability, which periodically create black holes. Don't forget to use any Valor combo, either Crescent Strike or Resounding Echo, to activate your mods, which is the Dynamic Blade Core, that after using any Valor combo, your next Valor combo within 5 seconds deals plus 30% damage. This world ain't bright, won't accept it Negative energy, I expect it Once it's in your mind, it's infectious So fight for your life and reject it You better give me space, I'm protective My adrenaline's... During Enrage, use your legendary ability for invulnerability effect. Stay on the front leg to avoid the projectile with gravitational effects attacks, which can push you away from the behemoth. Dodge, use your parry attack or throw your ice lance if it's active to avoid the 360 swipe attack. Don't forget to drink your tonics at around 0145 to 150. Don't forget to use your parry attack if your special is active, particularly during the leg slam attack. Again, Stay on the front leg to avoid the projectile with gravitational effects attacks. That's it guys, the build link is in the description box below. Thank you so much for your continuous support of our channel. See you in the Shattered Isle Slayers.